I'm Betty Goodell from Exes.com, and today we have with us Shelly Sharp, communication man- communications manager of the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. Today we're here at the Capitol Theater Open House for Culture Days. Welcome, Shelly. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about all these extraordinary events that are happening. Well, it just so happens that Culture Days and Doors Open Windsor coincides with our grand opening weekend. So we were able to really open the Capitol Theater with style. We have three days of events going on that include tours of the theater, uh, workshops. We have theatrical workshops taking place um, in the Kelly and in the Joy, dance workshops taking place. We have an interactive art exhibit at the end of the Capitol Theater building and a door that opens onto Polisher on the other side of Art Side. Of course, Art Side is up and going. And we have two free performances tomorrow as a part of Culture Days. And in addition to that, it's our grand opening weekend. We have a big concert tonight, one uh, Saturday night and one Sunday that launches our season. This is our 65th season. It launches our new home, us being in our new home, the Capitol Theater, and is the very first concert in our search for a new music director. And how is the search going? Well, so far, so good. We had a pool of, I believe, just over 170 candidates from 28 countries that sent in resumes and audition tapes or audition links. The um, tapes were largely YouTube clips this year, which is a nice change from stacks of VHS tapes from several years ago. Um, And we've narrowed that large pool down to eight candidates, eight finalists. And those eight finalists will each come in turn and conduct the WSO for a weekend. And um, that weekend, in addition to conducting, is going to include interviews. It's going to include receptions and public events, meetings with our board, with our staff, and, and different groups like our volunteers. And you know, we're trying to get them in the school. So we're really looking for somebody that is connecting with this community that is well-rounded and we're offering our audience the opportunity to have a say in who our next music director will be. We want to know what our patrons think. That's a very important opinion to us and we will be surveying the audiences after each performance to get their thoughts on what they thought of the music director, um, the way he connected with the musicians, the way he connected with the audience, just the overall flavor of the evening. And, you know, of course, we're asking for their open and general comments. They have um, some tough boots to fill, especially with the previous director. He was so terrific. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be directing today? Today we have Kevin Mallon. Um, He is the music director of the Aradia Ensemble in Toronto, an ensemble that specializes in Baroque music and older music. He was with us last December. He conducted the Bach Oratorio, our Christmas Oratorio, and he also composed the music for the television show Camelot that started last year, uh, put on by the same production company that did the Tudors. And uh, he is conducting Frank Leahy. Frank Leahy is a former Canadian fiddle champion. And uh, Frank also has the Don Messer fiddle and the exclusive rights to the Don Messer estate. So, you know, I'm sure everyone that uh, of a certain age remembers um, Don Messer and the Islanders and that great Canadian tradition of East Coast fiddling. And Frank Leahy is keeping it alive. And the concert this weekend, concerts this weekend, we've got three, um, take orchestral music and give it a, a bit of a twist with a fiddle. They take traditional fiddle tunes and give it a, a put it with an orchestra. Um, it's called the Fiddle Player Symphony, and it is a lot of fun. And today you're also going to be selling memberships. Are they available f- through the Windsor Symphony Orchestra? They are. They are. And memberships come in um, a couple of different opportunities. Um, you can become a season ticket holder, and season tickets start at just over $100, depending on the package that you want. And another way to become a member, a voting member of the orchestra, is to donate $75 or more and um, you know then you are able to vote at our annual general meeting and you become a part of that voting membership with a donation and it's such a great event to go to with your family it is 
It is. Um, we encourage families to come, particularly to concerts like we're having this weekend in November. We're doing a concert based on the music of John Williams. We have uh, Windsor's Nutcracker, Windsor version of the Nutcracker happening in December. All of those are very family-friendly concerts. And on top of that, we have half-hour concerts for toddlers that take place three times a year uh, called Peanut Butter and Jam. Those concerts are Saturday mornings and Sunday afternoons, and all of that information is available on our website, Windsor Symphony. Great. I'm Betty Goodell from Axies.com, and we've been talking with Shelley Sharp, Communications Manager of the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you.